Yesterday I had posted a poll asking which video do you want to see today. Unfortunately I couldn't make the video yesterday. However, I have made it today based on the maximum votes on the below topics. Most of you voted for the free tires in different cloud platforms for trying out Kubernetes. So in this video we are going to see 9 different cloud platforms which provides free resources for trying out Kubernetes. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. The first one obviously is the Google Cloud platform. They provide $300 credit if you create a free tire account and you can use the $300 credit to create your Kubernetes cluster and try out stuff in it. So there is no restriction on the size of the cluster and also the memory of the VMs inside the cluster. So the advantage you get with Google Cloud platform is you can create huge VMs and you can deploy huge applications irrespective of the memory until you exhaust that $300 credit within your first 12 months of your account creation. There is also always free tire but Kubernetes doesn't fall into that. The only caveat with the Google Cloud platform is you will have to link your credit card with this platform in order to try or create a free tire account inside Google Cloud. I have always been a fan of Google in the way they create developer productivity with respect to tools and the platforms. And that's why I always used Google Cloud for showing you the Kubernetes videos. Give it a try if you need high compute operations inside your Kubernetes cluster. There is one more bonus which you get out of the Google Cloud platform which is the Istio installation. If you want to try out service mesh with Istio, the Google Cloud platform creates Istio out of the box when you select it during the cluster creation. That is something which is a bonus from all the other providers. Moving on to the second in the list is Microsoft Azure. Azure provides again $200 credit similar to what Google provided. However, there is $100 credit which is less than what Google provided. But the Kubernetes cluster is always in the free tier. So if you look at the always free tier list, there are a lot of different options which you can use from the platform. And you can see Azure Kubernetes service for leveraging AI and machine learning. And it is always free. So you can deploy your containers and then run some TensorFlow workloads or something with respect to AI and ML programs inside the cluster. So if you're trying out something with respect to machine learning or AI and want to run it inside a Kubernetes cluster, you can go to Azure and you can claim your $200 credit and also you can leverage the free tire which Azure provides. The next cloud platform in the list is the IBM Cloud. IBM Cloud provides a free cluster with one worker node. This is enough for anybody to just get started, try out what is Kubernetes, what is deployment, what is service and different resources inside Kubernetes for the learning purpose. So which is more than enough for a beginner. So you can start off with IBM Cloud. If you already have an IBM Cloud account, you can still leverage the same to create your Kubernetes cluster with just one worker node and then try out Kubernetes in that. They do also provide different services with their free tire, but we would be leveraging the container registry and the Kubernetes service for learning Kubernetes. The next in the list is Alibaba Cloud. Alibaba Cloud runs one of the most biggest Kubernetes clusters in the world for their Alibaba retail and also they provide the same as a managed service for the cloud users. Again, Alibaba provides $300 credit for the free trial. You can leverage the $300 credit to create your Kubernetes cluster or you can still leverage the free tier inside the Alibaba Cloud because the Kubernetes cluster is always free. So you can hit the get free option and then sign up into Alibaba Cloud and then start using the container service for Kubernetes inside Alibaba. They do also provide the container registry which you can leverage for free. The next in the list is Red Hat OpenShift. Red Hat has a free and open source version which you can leverage from the Red Hat OpenShift online. They provide a 60 day free trial and they provide one worker node and you can deploy a single pod or maybe multiple pods inside the worker node and then try out Kubernetes in that. The developer experience with respect to OpenShift is amazing and I, you would have seen some of my videos on OpenShift as well. If you're using already Red Hat's OpenShift, then do try out and check out my videos on OpenShift 
to take a look at how you can deploy applications inside Red Hat's OpenShift. The next in the list is Katakoda. Till now we saw some of the layer 1 cloud providers. The next few in the list are going to be the layer 2 cloud providers. Basically these are services which are provided over the layer 1 cloud providers. The first in the list is Katakoda. Katakoda is one of the most famous interactive browser based platform for learning different cloud native technologies including Kubernetes. In fact, this is the most simplest way to learn Kubernetes. If you don't want to sign up or log into any cloud provider and you want to create a cluster, this is the simplest way. You can just launch the start scenario and then get started with creating a VM and Kubernetes cluster and then try out Kubernetes inside that. The next in the list is trykatus.com. You can just log into the trykatus.com using the github login and then create your kubernetes cluster and try out kubernetes for free the next layer 2 provider in our list is codefresh codefresh.io uses existing cloud provider for example it uses google cloud however it provides more credit than the google cloud platform in itself if you remember the first in the list google cloud platform provided a dollar 300 credit however codefresh provides us a dollar 500 credit in order to leverage codefresh inside google cloud Additionally, CodeCloud provides its own flavor to integrate Google Cloud and give a different developer experience when you are deploying applications into CodeFresh. The final cloud provider in our list is KubeSail. With KubeSail, you can open another free Kubernetes cluster and try out by logging or signing up using your GitHub account. These are the different free tier options available with different cloud providers be it the layer 1 or the layer 2 or the tier 1 or the tier 2 however you call it do leverage these cloud providers for creating your account and then trying out and learning kubernetes if you have any queries with respect to kubernetes or any of these free tier accounts do let me know in the comment section below the links for all these different cloud providers are provided in the description again do check it out and then give it a try as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.